two-way flex brew coffee maker. Now it is a 12 cup coffee maker with timer and it also allows you to use K-cups for individual servings. So that's why it's two ways. So now we're going to explain some of the features that uh, we like about it and go from there. For you to do 12 cups of coffee, first of all, it's important to note that this bottom part is going to be hot whether you're doing the single serve or just the regular ground. Place that in. Put your coffee grounds in there. What I like also about it is when you remove this, nothing drips out when you have wet grounds. Now you'll notice there's a significant amount of condensation. Not a big deal on this machine because it actually doesn't hit your countertop, so it's not a problem. Place your water in here. And you'll notice if I move this over on the side, it indicates exactly how much water. I'm going to make 10 cups in the morning. Close this and I hit go ahead and hit the program button. And it's all set for me to program. Uh, have some coffee in the morning at 6.15. Now it does take quite a bit of time for it to brew. So that's why I like this program feature so that when I wake up, I have my coffee and I do not need to wait. Now we're going to talk about the single serve K-cup. So I have to move this dial over to the single serve. Now. If you'll notice on the time, you can do ground or a K-cup. So the K-cup is, you pull this out, you go ahead and put it right inside. You got to hear it click, once you do, put it inside here, have it hit click again, and brew now. And you are ready to go. Again, takes about oh, five minutes for one K-cup to go. The next option is if you don't want to buy K-Cups or they don't have your favorite flavor of coffee in a K-Cup, what you do then is you go ahead and you take this out, slide it on out, and put your favorite grounds right into that filter. Super awesome. Put it in here. Again, just slide it in, push it down. Brew now. Oh, sorry, you change this to ground, brew now, and you are ready to go. Good. All right, now we're going to compare the cleanup uh, from the Bun Thermal Fresh to our Hamilton Beach. The Bun has absolutely no condensation on the unit at all, which is wonderful. However, when you throw, throw away the grounds, it's going to, as is right now, it's going to drip all the way over until you throw your rounds away. This Hamilton Beach has a significant amount of condensation, but again, it's designed to stay within the unit. And when you pull out your grounds, this right here is the anti-stop. So what happens is, is that there's gonna be no dripping as you go ahead and throw away your wet grounds. As I spoke about before, goodness, if you want a coffee right then and there, when you pull it out, it stops brewing. Put it back in, continues. With the bun, goodness, if you move this, it's a disaster everywhere. I am not a coffee connoisseur. I like mine very, very dark and bold. I find that the bun and the Hamilton Beach, there is no significant difference in the taste of the coffee. You just need to make sure to buy some fresh ground coffee and enjoy. Is one in particular hotter than the other one? No, they're actually both quite warm and what I enjoy about this is that it stays hot for a long time. Um, it stays on for about two to three hours and it's very piping hot. The bun is also piping hot and the advantage is it brews in three minutes and it's extremely hot just in three minutes. But as far as the temperature of the coffee goes, I would say they're equivalent. Okay, so you'd give it a five-star rating. And no doubt in my mind, this is my favorite machine to date. I love it. I'm going to be sad one day if it ever breaks. <laughs>